cardboard too. Components for game one. Shh. Have you guessed it yet? Well, it's code names from Blada Hachtel. So let's check out code names. Did I say the name of the game? I think I didn't. Code names. So let's check out code names. Hello. Code names. Yeah, this game is from Vlada Hvatel. He's very popular on the geeks or board game geeks people because he makes very big games and he usually makes them very good, I mean. Because Peter Mania, uh, the drawing game, it's not a big game, but he makes he takes drawing and makes it actually suspenseful and just not a game and that's just an activity. And this time it's a party game, it's called Codenames. And, well, you gotta come up with code names for words. Hmm. So words about words. How does that work? Okay. This is a game that is simple enough that I will teach you to it now, and it's difficult enough to explain without teaching you to it. So I have to teach you how to play the game. So here we have a lot of words. So it's a five rows with five columns, five by five, and this card has a solution. The solution to what? Well, the game comes in two teams, or you have to play in two teams: the red versus the blue. So if you are four people, you are two people in the red and two people in the blue. And sometimes you have an odd number, but okay, we just have to make it, make it do. Uh, the spy master. Each team will have one spy master. So if we have five people on a team, only one will be spy master. He will sit on this side of this card, and this card will have the solution of the game. So let's just bring it up to you. Here we go. This is the solution. This shows you the uh, uh, the ownership of each word. So in this case. This is a red word, and this is a red, and the magic of post-editing, all these are reds. And these are neutral, and these are blue. And there is one assassin, this one, and if the, a team points him out, then the team loses immediately, immediately. So my job as a spy master is to make one reference word followed by a letter, uh, and that letter tells you how many words among these on the table can be correlate to the word I just said. So if you say surface, two. That means that two of the words here can be connected to the word surface. Okay, so you have table, that is one. You have water, hmm, okay. Ground, oh, okay, so there are many things that are surface. So let, let's uh, begin this discussion. Is water a surface? Well, yeah. You could argue that, and but did the spy master think that? Hmm, that's a good question. So this game just wants the team. You have to get all your cards out before the opponent does, and whoever does this first wins. And that's that's the game, and it's very open for interpretation. It's very. Uh, What's it called? It's very tenseful because you have one word to uh, relate to each round, and you, if you point out the assassin, you lose, and if you point out the opponent's point, they get a point. So you really have to think through here. Code names, just pretty much one of the best party games you can get these days. Uh, it's easy to explain, and if you are the spy master, you don't have to give in all the details on the, the, the restrictions of the spy master. Just Tell them how it works, and they can play it. And you want to switch, of course. It's very exciting to be the spy master, and it's also very exciting to not be the spy master, but on the team of the spy master. Because the more you know a person, probably the more reference you will get by his hints and what you're going to point out here. So the game, you can point out as much as you want and do this, but as soon as you actually touch a card, then you have made a guess. And then we will reveal: was it a red card, blue card? A neutral card, or was the the assassin? And each time it's like, <gasps> ooh, and yes, or something, or no, of course not. And you cannot discuss with the spy master the hint because that would uh, give away something. Maybe you just, oh, it was correct, but maybe that wasn't the hint at all. Maybe that was something else, and we just got lucky. Who knows? So you cannot discuss the hints until the end of the game, and the spy master just have to have a poker face. And try not to cry out in, in agony when the team says something stupid or something. 
And it's a lot of fun, it is. So this is definitely one of the best party games there is, actually. <laughs> so, way to go, Flada. You made a total winner in, in my book. And I, I cannot recommend this game enough. It's very playable, it's playable multiple times. And, just in case you're wondering, hmm, huh, aren't enough words in the game? Yes. And you flip it over and there are more words. And not only that, but if you do this, flip it 90 degrees, you have a whole new combination between the same words and you get totally different references. Because even though many of the words here fit together nicely, it doesn't mean it belongs to your team. So you have to manage that very well as a spy master and try to think logically. So, code names, total best game, party game ever, maybe. Okay, thank you for watching. Hope I see you again in the next episode. See ya!